Hi, I'm Dr. Hisham, laser cosmetic dentist, international educator, and best-selling author. I'm here to introduce you to the new Ozo Spa Oral Care System from Auckland, New Zealand. It's a system that we carefully and intentionally created that's designed to establish and maintain a healthy balance in your mouth for long-term protection against tooth decay, gum disease, and bad breath, all at the same time in three easy steps. It is so safe, universal, and so much in flow with daily life and common sense that it's almost illogical to use anything else to protect your smile and health once you see and understand what I'm about to share with you. Before I go on to explain about biofilm balance, your math as the portal to your health, or the benefits of Ozo Spa Oral Care, I want to share a story with you that triggered the big why in me. The why that made me design, create, clinically test, and then share the system over a period of 10 years now. Because unlike a classic product from a conventional corporation, where the intent is to use whatever they have to generate more profit, this is a very personal story of why, before how, or what, an absolute benefit before profit. In 2003, I traveled a long distance to see a dentist colleague of mine to remove my old mercury amalgam fillings and restore my back teeth with porcelain. They were corroding, leaking, and some were cracking my teeth. I've never used them in my clinic. I trusted my friend and he used laser technology like I did. We computer designed and finished all my crowns on the same day. That took seven hours and he did a great job. I happily admit though that I prefer sitting behind the dental chair, not in it. You know what I mean. The shocking surprise came when he found two new cavities in my teeth and he thought that I knew about them. But I had no idea that I had new cavities and they weren't little ones either. You see, I had faith in him but I didn't want to believe that anything new was brewing in my mouth. A cavity is decay. That's bacteria literally rotting my teeth. I couldn't have that. I'm a dentist. I'm supposed to know what I'm doing, right? I brush and I floss and I use fluoride toothpaste as they always told me. It wasn't ego or suspicion that made me ask him to show me the cavities on screen. It was a shock of disappointment in the system, in our professional paradigms, and what value do we honestly place on real preventative care versus accepting old paradigms, just doing what they tell you to do, using what they make for you, and keep telling others to do the same, because that is the proven solution, or is it? As Einstein said, we can't solve problems by using the same kind of thinking we used when we created them. That was a giant moment of truth for me. It linked to all what I've been observing in guests. That's what I call my patients who are under my care. I'm talking about the many who care about themselves and try to do good and follow advice, but still end up with repeated dental problems despite their efforts. Repeated problems become costly, frustrating, and to some people, humiliating. You know what I mean, don't you? This was very personal now. What am I going to do about it? Get it all fixed up and just go back to do the same old stuff I've been doing until I get the next lot of cavities? Really? Does that even make sense? I mean, it's insane to keep doing the same old things and expect different new results, isn't it? I worried even more at the time because my baby girl was just over a year old and I decided that she would not have any decay or gum disease. A new decision was made, a new dream was born out of that jolt and a desire to do better with absolute determination to create and share a safer, more effective, simple and proactive solution to the two most rampant infections of humankind tooth decay and gum disease. Fixing problems properly is very important, but fighting disease and reacting isn't enough. We have to actively seek health all the time, at least to reduce our risk to a minimum, rather than just say, ah oh well, it happens to everyone. It shouldn't, if we really care enough. I just needed to figure out how. How am I going to do that? I desired better for my child, for my trusting guests, my community, my profession, and the world especially when many conventional dental protocols and products out there can have so many potential or known toxins and ineffective ingredients with poison warnings on many of them. Why would I give my daughter that? Does it even work according to what the research shows? Which research are we looking at and applying anyway? We know so much more today than we did 40 years ago. So why aren't we doing better then? It's time for us to evolve our thinking, our products and our care. So, I went on my quest of investigation and invention. It wasn't easy, but the research was out there. 
many plant extracts, minerals, and alkaline salts that are food grade and safe ingredients were absolutely proven to work to enhance health and prevent disorder. Yet, nobody was applying that knowledge properly. And what's the point of knowing without acting? Pointless. I didn't find any complete product range that had combined a whole lot of these active natural ingredients together without adding in abrasives, fillers, other hazardous, cheap, nasty ingredients, and super diluting the whole thing until it's almost a joke. I went opposite to the standard. I experimented with my own mixes of concentrated, active, safe ingredients in different combinations until I got it. Simple and pure, yet very effective and without crazy additives. I called it Ozo Spa Oral Care System. Then, I tested my ideas personally with my family, friends, and volunteering guests globally. It worked like magic, even though it was pure logic. There's still responsibility and other risk factors to understand and manage to achieve and sustain optimal health, which I would explain to you simply and practically when you opt in to receive the value videos I recorded for you. Everybody who cares about their health and well-being and their loved ones should know these facts and fundamentals because freedom to choose is better appreciated when you've been given a choice after being informed instead of being told what to do without awareness about why. So how do you achieve and maintain health? You evolve your awareness and learn to manage your risks, actively create balance and keep seeking health rather than fight disease. Without going too technical, the fact is that the most common two infectious diseases of humans worldwide are tooth decay and gum disease with head breath going along for the ride. The World Health Organization recognizes them as global epidemics. They have many contributing factors, mainly diet, lifestyle, and medications, but the most critical and obvious cause is the high number of bad bacteria and fungus in the mouth that overtake the good bacteria in normal biofilm to cause us disease. They're passed around from person to person by kissing and sharing saliva, parent to child, partner to partner, and so on. They are biofilm imbalanced diseases, which I will explain to you and show you exactly what that is in a moment. Another fact, the most infected parts of the whole human body are the mouth and the colon. Microbes make up 90% of the living cells that we carry around every day. The remaining 10% of the living cells are our own human cells. The mouth always has many bacteria and fungi that live together in what we call a biofilm which is a bug city. We cannot eliminate biofilm. We can only influence and modify what grows in it by creating balance and harmony in the environment that it grows in, the mouth and the body. So, while brushing and flossing are critical to keep reducing the total number of bugs and removing rotting food debris from our mouths, they're obviously not enough to stop all disease. Cleaning your mouth is like mowing the lawn, important, but it doesn't change the ratio of weeds to grass. Everything will grow back within hours. And what grows back more depends on the environment left behind. We either allow and promote the weeds to grow back, or we help the good grass take over while eliminating the weeds, the bad guys, from our bug city. Most harsh chemicals like uh, detergents and toothpastes and acidic alcohol mouthwashes out there irritate our human cells while they claim to clean our mouths. They kill good bugs and bad bugs alike, as well as killing our own human cells, and they're not safe to ingest or swallow. They leave an environment that is ripe for the weeds, bad bugs and fungus, to regrow quickly, and hence, we stay in a state of imbalance, unwellness, and dis-ease. You know what I mean, if you're using conventional products and advice, like I did, yet you or your family and kids keep having dental problems that are preventable. I'm talking to you, motivated and health conscious, yet dissatisfied with the status quo. You hate repeated dental treatment, and you're looking for a better solution to modern age problems. We need to be driven to act, to build a better ecosystem with safer and non-toxic, yet more effective methods to keep us balanced, healthy, and smiling. You deserve that. I invite you to join our quest in making this world full of happy, healthy, gleaming smiles. It's our time to lead change to inspire and empower those in our sphere of influence. So please share this message with your social groups. Until I see you again in health and in peace, always live in excellence, look better, feel better, and be better. Thank you.